Hey guys, it's Angel B here and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel and in today's video we are going to be looking at my favourite Minecraft mods of all time. So before we get into this video, please be sure to subscribe if you aren't already. It really means a lot to me. It helps me and my channel out along with turning the notifications on and leaving a like if you enjoy this video. So let's get right into the video. So this first mod I'm pretty sure everybody has heard of. It is called Mo Creatures. Now this adds creatures such as goats, elephants, literally anything you have heard of pretty much. And these things here, these white raven, ravens? Sorry about my mouse, it was just really spamming out and I'm not sure why. It adds these kitty cats, which are so cute. These little snails, like ambient creatures such as ants, bees, ostriches. A lot of people would have already heard about this mod as it is one that has been around for literally a generation. So this next mod is called the fairy mod. Now this adds little creatures to the game called fairies, which you can tame with cake and you can make them do certain tasks for you. This is what they look like. They come in all different variants and you can make them pretty much farm for you, fish for you and harvest crops and kill animals. And it is just so adorable. This mod has been around since I think 1.2.5 and it got remade by a new author, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I really recommend this mod. This is one of my all time favorites. I used to use this mod so often back in the day along with Mo Creatures. So this next mod is called Butterfly Mania. Now this is only available for 1. I think 1.8 it works for 1.7 and below. It lets you capture butterflies that spawn in the wild. It adds butterfly trophies which like taxidermy. It adds butterfly nets and you can capture butterflies and there it's gone into the empty jar. You can place it back down in like a butterfly garden. You can rename them with name tags and it has an encyclopedia. So if you use the encyclopedia on a butterfly, it will tell you about the butterfly or if you have captured one. See, it'll tell you about that one there and it tells you everything about them. So that is that mod. It's a super cute mod. So this next mod is called Mo Creeps and Weirdos. Now, if you don't remember this mod, this is a really popular mod way back, way back in the day on around 1.2.5 alpha or beta. It is very, 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 very old and it is being remade for 1.12 and it is amazing. One thing that I add, which I can remember is these little guinea pigs, which with the guinea pigs, you can tame them, level them up, give them apples. And when they get to level 30 and you level them up by letting them kill animals for you and creatures and helping you out, you can get a guinea pig hotel. And it was so cool. It also adds these flying unicorns, which were a drop from another type of creature. It adds some really wacky creatures like this alien, which is from outer space and they are very hard to kill because they shoot laser beams from their laser. And these lollipop mans, you can give them a child and I think they'll give you candy in return. I mean, there is still a lot of things I have kind of forgot what they do. But yeah, it has all these items too. It's hot dogs, which are like sausage dogs, which are kind of like the guinea pigs, but they are a sausage dog instead. If you give a guinea pig an apple, it brings up the menu and it lets you tame them. They have custom names. This one has been pre-named George W. Bush. You shift right click, you can bring up the inventory for it where you can stay, fight, wander and train. Level it up to 30, tells you the health, tells you the attack. You can rename it. Tells you how much experience it has to get to the next level. And yeah, it's just a super cute mod in that aspect, but they also add some very strange and scary creatures, such as like mummies and UFOs and aliens and all that scary stuff. So this next mod is called Zoo and Wild Animals. Now this is has to be one of my favorite zoo mods for Minecraft 1.12. It's only available for, I think, 1.12. There is different alternative versions for 1.7, but this is my favorite mod ever. It has to be. It is a Z mod, so it has loads of realistic creatures to the game with amazing animations and models and textures. They are so pretty and adorable. It has so many features. You can create your own zoos. Oh, and there is a big baby ignore that different types of fish dolphins whales all that type of stuff 
loads of aquatic creatures, land creatures, that they all spawn in different biomes in relative to where they spawn in real life. Well, not spawn, but yeah. Rhinoceros, a eagle, which fly, zebras, tigers too. There's an item called the data book and if you click on an animal, it'll tell you everything about that animal, what they eat and it works with palms. It tells you toys and things that make them happy. You can place in their zoo. You can create safaris with this. There is safari cars and animal trucks where you can carry the animals. All these features here, food, um, tranquilizer gun, which is how you're supposed to tame them, I'm pretty sure. Transport vehicles, zoo card, all that type of stuff that you would expect when making a zoo. So it's kind of like a zoo tycoon. Loads of new plants, foods, and zoo items and decorations. This next mod is called Animania, and this basically enhances the farming aspect of the game. With farm animals, it creates new models for regular pigs. Look how adorable those little piggies are! It's just so cute! They come in all different textures and breeds, and they are just so adorable. They're like so precious. They all have needs and requirements, like they need food, they need to be fed, they need water, they like to play in mud. There is also a bunch of chickens, there is peacocks, peafowls and peacocks, goats too. You can milk them, goat's milk, and you can get goat's cheese. It has rabbits, look at the little rabbits. It's like kind of realistic, but in a really cute way. This is the hamsters. Like, look at, they're adorable. You can give them hamster food and tame them and they can go on a hamster wheel and they used to be able to generate energy. I'm not sure if they still do. This next mod is one of my all-time favorites called Bibliocraft. Now this is a bunch of decorative items to the game which all have purpose, such as the bookcases, the frame chests. When you put items in, it tells you what item is on the front. Oak shelf, which was one of my all-time favorite storage items where you can place items on the front of it and it will display the item. There is tool, tool racks, and just all these different types of items here. Sword stands, globe maps chairs, printing press, which lets you put custom paintings and things like that. There is just a whole bunch of tools and stuff. This is only available for 1.12 and below. I remember it on 1.7 and it was my favorite, favorite mod. So this next mod is called Pam's Harvest Craft. Now this is a farming mod I think pretty much everybody has heard of, but if not, it adds farming things to the game and these new crops down here where if you break them they drop different types of seeds and i'm going to be honest i have no idea what that seed is there is different biomes different gardens spawn in the biomes that give you different crops and different seeds and you can make vegetables from those seeds in a farm or a greenhouse such as all these fruits here which are fruit trees bananas cherries oranges literally anything you could imagine and then these are all the crops you've got like onions carrots peas rhubarb okra and then it also has the food cart which is a whole bunch of food items and food tools which you need to make the items but you don't need any of the crops and the fruits to make these except it got a new expansion recently called food expanded and it lets you use the crops and the fruits to create a whole bunch of new foods such as all these here like chocolate strawberry um we have pies jelly toast yogurts sandwiches if you know all the vegetables and fruits that you can make stuff from so you can have a fruit orchid and it would look so pretty chips and dip cotton candy hazelnuts chocolate which is nutella peppermint popcorn and yeah, pizzas, just all this type of stuff to give Minecraft a better farming experience. And this mod works really well with Animania because then it will overhaul the entire farming experience. With this mod, it is available on, I think, 1.7, 1.12, 1 1.15 and everything in between. I am showing you on 1.15 right now, but it is also available for older versions. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, be sure to leave a like and comment me your favorite mod and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.